And what you see in healthcare is we are becoming more individualized and small population based for drug development. And through both UCB's um, pipeline as well as through acquisitions, uh, we are studying two investigational medicines uh, for the treatment of myasthenia gravis. One, rosanolixumab, and the other is Zalucaplan. Um, there is a high unmet need in the MG population. Uh, I believe the statistics, statistics are about 50% of people living with MG still have uncontrolled symptoms. So you may wonder why two assets? There's still such a high unmet need and the need for individualized treatment based on different mechanisms that we need as many solutions as possible for the MG population. So as a scientist, I would love to say that there is a magical way that we can pick a treatment that is the right fit for the right person at the right time. We're just not there yet for personalized medicine. Um, I think when you look at rare neuroimmunological based diseases, they are complex. Um, there are some patients that benefit extremely well from complement mechanisms. And, and you see great disease activity reduction and minimal symptom expression. Um, others, a mechanism isn't right for them. And then you're seeing a big rise in the FCRNs right now. Um, and that mechanism kind of junking up, if you will, the ability for the neuromuscular junction to have the wrong antibodies that would bind there. Complement, you're a little farther up in the cascade and preventing those antibodies to be um, created. I would say from a physician point of view, there are some complement loyalists, there's some FCRN loyalists, but the majority these are new targeted therapies that they are just starting to explore and to find that right fit. Um, I do hope in time we'll find biological markers that can help us understand what is the better fit for patients, also using data and AI to be able to do those types of things. Yep. So first, um, what type of MG patient is it? Are they newly diagnosed? Have they failed other therapies? What types of antibodies do they have? So usually the three flavors, uh, acetylcholine uh, resistant, the musk receptor resistant, or the seronegative. Depending on the categories, they may be able to match the right treatment. The next is the clinical sy symptom presentation. Are they someone that experiences symptoms daily? Even within the day, are they having variations of activity? Some patients will have cyclical type symptoms where they may have exacerbators. So there's a patient that I know actually quite well, his name's Alexis. Alexis was diagnosed um, when he was 25, he's 45 year old male now. Um, heat and humidity exacerbate his symptoms. So you can imagine living here in Atlanta, that hot muggy heat, summers are rough for him. So he may need a cyclical therapy in which maybe he does a couple rounds of a dose in this case, um, one of our investigational medicines, rosanolixumab, is given in a cyclical way, where you go through cyclical treatment, see if it knocks your symptoms down, and then you wait. You wait to see if your symptoms come back. Then you have other patients that absolutely need chronic treatment, in which um, our investigational medicine for Zulucal plan is, is evaluated in that way. So cyclical versus chronic, is another way for us to think about treating MG patients. And then you layer on top of that FCRN versus complement. So it gets complicated. 